Hello, Skate World. Thanks a lot for tuning in. In this video, I am gonna guide you on how to descend hills safely. There's a few different methods that I'm gonna go through and they're gonna work for all kinds of skaters. So whether you're a side-by-side -side skater, inline skater, speed skater, urban skater, street skater, you name it, they're gonna work. We'll go through them one by one, take the most careful ways to descend a scary hill first, and then at the end I'm gonna to explain to you how you can go full gas downhill while being safe. So if you're completely new to skating, or if the descent is very scary, to the point that you already know from the top of the hill that you're not gonna roll down this thing, you're gonna walk down the thing. Then you would want to walk, walk sideways, as I'm gonna show you right here. Step. By step. It's probably the safest way, it's also the slowest and most boring way, but if we're talking 10% plus, I would also go down the hill that way. Or if it's a hill I haven't done before, or if there might be cars, there might be cyclists or skaters coming the opposite way, then that is your safe call. and that's going to slow you down. Make sure to not have a too narrow stand because you want it to be wide here so you can keep balance all the way as you slow down. So if you're going down a hill and you want to go fast down this hill, it could be a race. Races are not always entirely flat. So if you want to go fast down a hill but it's so steep that you can't actually skate or you're just nervous as there might be a turn coming up or things like that, well, it's almost a good idea to keep moving your body weight a little bit from skate to skate instead of just standing still. That way you're a little more agile. You know from if you see soccer or handball, the goalies are gonna jump a little on their feet instead of just freezing in a steady position. Then you won't be as quick on your feet if you stumble upon a tiny rock or if there's a little hole in the road. So get down in position and then transfer your body weight a little from side to side. And then you're also ready to actually do steps when it's time to do that again, when it flattens out or you just feel comfortable about it. And if you go down a hill, you want to keep the speed, but it's not a race. You don't want to be ready for an acceleration. You just want to be safe and avoid any crashes or whatever might occur. Then some people, I personally like it this way, we know from ski jumping that you would want to put one foot a little in front of the other. Like I mentioned here, if we have a wide stand, well, it's going to be easier to, to just be more agile. The same thing goes if you put one foot in front of the other, it's going to be more comfortable. In this way, it's easy to balance from side to side. Put one foot a little in front of the other. And same, same goes, but just backwards and forwards. So if there's a rock, you just get losing stability for a second, well, you can catch it that way. Therefore, if you're just speeding down a hill without any purpose of trying to accelerate further beyond that, well, this would be a good position. Arms out a little, so you have those to use for, for even further balancing out um, in case you would lose control a little. So that would be the ideal position of going downhill. That last little piece of advice when skating down a hill or just skating in general, we all have a terrible habit. The second we get nervous or the second something unexpected happens as we're skating, we have this habit of stiffening up. And instead of bending the legs a little more, and becoming more soft in it, so we actually can move around a little easier, we usually do the opposite. We do like this, and we're perfectly straight legs, there's no bouncing, and, and we really can't do anything. If a person falls in front of us, if we hit a rock or a stone on the road, well, there's no taking off. Unlike if we're down here, it's gonna be a lot easier. So try and implement that habit in your head. Whenever you feel discomfort or you get nervous, well, Find a solid position down here instead of up here. And that's gonna help you. That was all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video and the rest of my videos. If you haven't seen those, you'll find them here on my channel. And uh, that's it, subscribe, so you will see whatever I come up with next. And I'm also curious to hear if you guys got any cool ideas for what I should film and talk more about. I'll see you next time. My last piece of advice is for you to join me as an investor in the VCC. It's a cryptocurrency that I believe is the crypto of the future and I think it will only go up from here. 
I'm an investor myself and as a VIP ambassador, if you use the link below, you will get 100 coins just for signing up to the platform. Hope to see you there.